welcome to day 10 of 12 Days of Christmas with me. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series thus far. I will be uploading every single day and have been until Christmas Eve, which is this Friday. After Christmas Eve, don't worry, I will still be putting out a lot of content. It just won't be daily, but it will be every single week. You will have something from me. I haven't decided on a day yet. If you guys have a preferred day, please comment that down below. My name is Brianna, if you're new here, and let's get into today's video. So I decided I'm going to do a sit down video today because, and just chat with you guys, because I actually filmed a video yesterday. I was meant to put up day 10 yesterday, which was December 22nd, but my footage was filmed on my phone, and it was filmed through HDR on my iPhone. I didn't know that if you upload it that way on iMovie, it overexposes everything. And I tried to send it by text, but some of the files were too long, so I sent it through iCloud, and it was just like a whole problem. And I discovered this at 10.30 p.m., and I didn't have enough time to film like a new video and get it up in time. So I was like, you know what, let me just take this night off, go to bed, wake up refreshed, my sister's watching Braden today, actually, so it works out well. And I'm going to film today's video, and the video that was meant to go up yesterday, I'm doing it right now. So, welcome to day 10. I hope you guys are enjoying my series. And I just wanted to talk about setting boundaries. I feel like I never have set boundaries in my life. Like, strong boundaries that I don't push back on. Ever since I became a mom, I have boundaries, and they're actually really helpful for my mental health, for my child to have consistency, and also just for everybody around me so they know like what to expect so I didn't even know like I knew what boundaries were and I knew there are certain things that you accept and certain things you don't accept um but I never actually had any that I stuck to I just was I just knew this is what I'm gonna deal with this is what I'm not gonna tolerate but sometimes I would back down on my boundaries because it would make somebody like feel some type of way or they would get like offended or sad, whatever. And of course you want to set these boundaries very respectfully for others, but also you need to be consistent for yourself so that you learn that you can keep promises and, and make your mental health a priority. So for example, when my son was first born, this was during the pandemic last year, um, I don't know if I would have viewed things differently if it wasn't, but I was very adamant that nobody kissed my child. And only grandparents and our siblings, me and my fiancé siblings, had met my son. And it was, like, very sparingly. That began the start of me learning what boundaries were, right? Because, of course, at least in my culture, when a baby's born, um, everybody comes and sees the baby. They're smothering the baby, kissing the baby, and, like, all on top of them. And I really didn't do that. I did not want that. I was very strict about it. Um, you had to accept it or don't come around type of thing. And yeah, it was like a big learning curve. Obviously, having to deal with people's emotions could be very uncomfortable. At the end of the day, my son comes first. And I'm sorry to put it bluntly, but if it hurts your feelings, but it's protecting my child, I really don't feel bad, to say the least. Um, I will try to be understanding and things like that, but I feel like the things that I've set in place and the boundaries I have for my child and for me as his mom, um, it's very reasonable. There's nothing shocking. It's like very simple things. I'll give you guys some examples. select few of people could change my son's diaper. Um, you cannot kiss his face, his hands, or his feet. Sometimes it gets, that one gets a little slid, that rule. But it really upsets me, so I'm going back to being very strong on that. Like, do not kiss my kid, please. You can show him affection in different ways, such as a hug. Um, or just interacting him, giving him attention. He doesn't need to be kissed by you. Um, and that goes for literally anybody besides me and my fiancé and our dog. Because my dog and him are, like, best friends. But I'm, like, super strict about that. Um, he does not sleep over in nobody's house besides my mom's and my dad. Like, they're together. And he's only slept over their house once, and that's because me and my fiancé had went on vacation post-baby. Um, that's it. But I don't really see a reason why my child should have to sleep over anywhere. And I never always had this perspective. I always, you know, I didn't see anything wrong with sleepovers as long as it was with people that you trust and know that they're not going to harm your kid. But since I became a mom, I got kind of freaked out, and I'm like, you can't really trust anybody, so, yeah, <laughs> there's that. Like, 
No. Um, the food he eats, I am very... Like, you guys, I am super particular about it, and it pisses people off. And I don't understand why, you know? Because it's like, you're not my child. <laughs> They're not buying him food, and certain people um, have felt some type of ways. And it's kind of like, if I'm buying it, and me and my fiance are on the same page, it shouldn't really bother anybody else. Even, because a lot of the things, I guess, is not the norm for both our families and it's kind of shocking at first but I feel like you have to respect it because we're his parents and this is where it comes into play where you have to have like you just have to know you're doing what's best for your kid or whatever boundary you're setting or what's best for you and just stick with it when you stick with it people adjust they will get used to that new boundary that you built um and it's not just like oh push your beliefs on me and I'm just gonna follow that no and I'm very much so the type of person, if you tell me that you don't like something or that you want something done a certain way, I'm going to follow that and I will not feel some type of way about it because I am like that. And I feel like a lot of people, they have their boundaries, but they just get stepped on and like pushed around because they don't stick firm with them. And I highly recommend you guys, even in the most uncomfortable situation, stick firm to your boundaries. So like I was saying with food, my child started having um, solid, took around five months but really started at six months and we did baby led weaning and in my household everything for him um, has been organic now certain things are not organic now that he's one but I would say 99% of his diet it's all organic foods it's all whole foods there's no candy there's no sugar no salt um, and that was like soup I was like very strict with that from six months to one and the reason for it is because some of their organs are not fully developed. And I just believe, like, why do you need, like, fake sugar, you know? If you're going to get sugar, you get it from a fruit or from a whole food. Like, I'm fine with that. That, like, ruffled some feathers um, on both sides. But it was just like, no, this is what I'm doing. My son is thriving. He's very healthy. And this is just what works for my family. And at home, we actually do eat organic as well. So it just blended well, you know. It wasn't like I was going out of my way to get him something. And if I was, it shouldn't have been a problem. But it wasn't going out of my way. So with that being said, I just feel like boundaries need to be set. And if you're going to offer my kid something, that's another boundary I have. You have to ask me first before you give it. And I feel like that's like just a given. Um, I feel like a lot of people do that. They Before they feed your child something, they always ask the mom, at least the people that I'm around. So that's not something that I have to, like, reinforce. But ha if, the, if it is something that I would have to reinforce, I would feel 100% comfortable doing so. So those are just some boundaries that I have with my child. Like, I can give you one for me. You have to talk to me a certain way or I literally just won't, I won't conversate with you. Um, I will tell you one. Hey... I'm finding what you're saying is disrespectful or the way that you're talking to me I don't agree with or for instance if people want to gossip I'm not about that life so I'll be like I don't want to partake in this conversation let's talk about blah 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 whatever um it's different if you have to vent to me that's fine but I'm not gonna be here like gossiping like I don't do that I don't need that drama in my life I have enough going on in my personal life that I don't need extra so what I want you guys to take away from this conversation is setting boundaries. You have to be clear on your boundaries. So first, I want you to make a list of boundaries. And boundaries are just things that you don't want to deal with or that you don't want to come in contact with. So it could be as small as, in my car, we don't eat. Some, something small. Like, in my car, I don't want people eating um, meals, snacks, whatever. You only can have bevs, beverages. Okay, somebody comes in your car and they're going to eat and they know this is a rule that you have for the car or a boundary, you need to reinforce it. And of course, don't like come at people with your boundaries, but you need to, you know, speak up for yourself, be respectful, but definitely say, hey, I don't want anybody eating in my car because then it gets messy or I get grease stains and I just want to maintain the cleanliness of my car. Like say that's your reason or whatever. Or if you don't want to explain yourself, you don't have to. You don't owe anybody an explanation, um, but if you want to, you totally can. 
So boundaries could be as small and as big as you want. You can even have boundaries in your relationships with people, with people, with yourself. Like what I'm trying to set with myself is stop going to bed so late. That is not a boundary. I guess it's kind of like a rule, but I'm really trying to enforce it because I go to bed really late and then I wake up tired and then I'm tired all day and then it's a cycle and it's not something I'm trying to carry over into 2022. So that's my conversation about boundaries. And the reason I use so much um, examples from my son is because I notice they're more prevalent when you have a small child and they don't have their voice yet. This is the last topic that I want to talk about with you guys for now or for this video. So another topic that I actually brought up in yesterday's video that I couldn't upload was what is balance? Um, if you really think about it, is there ever a balance where everything is equally distributed um, besides money? Um, like what is balance? For instance, the main categories in my life right now and apply this to yours as it does, but mine is motherhood, being a fiance, my relationships with all my family members, work, and friends. Is there ever a time where that will all be equally distributed or is there seasons of life where one thing takes more of a focal point than others as of right now? For me, it's motherhood. That is like my main focus. That is the biggest part of my life right now. And sometimes I'm just like, how do you do it? How do you balance everything? I would love to know. Um, cause sometimes I feel like I'm so focused on motherhood that I neglect my relationship with my fiance or I'm so focused on that relationship that I'm not focusing on the other relationships with my family or I'm doing really well at work and then I feel like everything else is falling apart or even let's add household into it. How do I keep up with like my household or is that the time where you come to ask for help for certain like minute tasks? I don't know. Um... But I do feel like I'm in the season of life where my family is my priority. Um, for a long time, it has been. A little bit there was my career. Now that I'm a mom, my son is my priority. Like, being a great mom is my priority. But, okay, so I want to be a great mom. With that comes a lot of self-work, inner work. Um, the way that I actually treat all my other relationships, I want to treat, uh, treat my son. I want to show my son how it is to have healthy relationships with people, right? And just focusing on that relationship, I'm not really showing him, yes, between me and him, I'm showing him that relationship, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable, and working on myself, I am showing him how to be like a good person and things like that. But I also wanna show him how to balance your life, like how to have relationships with friends, family, do well in work, have your own free time, have alone time, do things with people, keep up with your house. Um, and I'm like, is that not realistic? Or am I doing something wrong? Like what is balance? Cause there's really no such thing as balance. It's just what, how you want to balance your scale out. So maybe something is taking 60% and something else is taking 40%. So that equals up your 100%. But is there ever a way to have everything be 50, 50, 50? And they, that may be not every single day, but let's say in one week, is there a way to have everything weigh out great and evenly and everybody's satisfied and you're satisfied and everything is just flowing? I'm asking for myself. And also, I'm also dating it because I'm like are a lot of people just out here trying to balance things and then in the end you're not even appreciating your life because you're so busy trying to work everything out to be a balance that you're just like I'm not even enjoying my time right now right because sometimes I feel like that I feel like I'm so focused right because this is something so exciting for me being a mom it's something I've always wanted but I also feel like I'm not balancing every other aspect of my life well. And then when I do, I feel like I'm failing as a mom. Or when I focus on something else, I feel like I'm failing in all the other areas. Like, are we all just pretending that we can balance well and we can't? Or is there a secret that I'm missing out on? Or maybe something I'm just not doing good? I don't know. But I wanted to leave you guys off with that question and my input on it because I don't have the answer for that. And I'm really like trying to figure it out as well. And I wanted to share that with you guys because I know sometimes things could just look so perfect. And it's not that I'm not saying that because right people say there's no such thing as perfection. Yes, maybe not. 
but in your eyes it could be like something that's really really good and like this is what you want and how you want it but I want to be a little bit more balanced. I don't know if everything is equally going to be balanced out, but I do want to be a little bit more balanced. And that is something that I will be working on next year. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for spending day 10 with me. I will have day 11 up later today. So we will not be behind because the 24th is the last day of the 12 days of Christmas with me. So subscribe, comment, and like. And I hope you guys have been enjoying this video and all my other videos. And I keep touching my... You guys, I've been touching my hair this whole time. It's because it's straight. I think I mentioned in the last video, I'm not used to it. So I keep touching it and fumbling around with it because I'm not used to it. And I'm trying to like hide my little broken hairs. But anyhow, bye.